Okay, it's it's been several months since we last did this. Quite a bit has happened. We know more, or we believe we know more than we did before. In first of March, you had a glucose tolerance test. Uh, that was following a trip to the emergency room where you were deathly sick, so weak, so terribly weak, that you couldn't hold your arms up for the EMT, and you, I don't think you could even blink, if I remember correctly. Anyway, the emergency room doctor, when I told him that your blood sugar, we measured your blood sugar, and, and it, was, it was fairly low. Anyway, he ordered a glucose tolerance test. That was the first week of March. You fasted, and they gave you the glut of sugar water, and you became very ill, right? Yeah. Uh, you became so ill that the nurse in attendance had you lay down for a good portion of the test. You finished the test, you came home, and slept for four straight hours. When I saw what happened, I th thought, finally, we know what's going on, which I should have mentioned, the test was to determine if you had hypoglycemia. While you were sleeping, our doctor's office called with the results of the test and they they determined from the test results that you were not suffering from hypoglycemia and <clears throat> the reason for that is is a glucose tolerance test has only high limits for the blood sugar it has no low limits i know this because i went to get a copy of the test and looked at it there are no low limits for a glucose tolerance test they're looking for diabetics and you're not a diabetic. You've never had high blood sugar. What you obviously are suffering from is what's called reactive hypoglycemia. Do a Wikipedia search for it and wonderful description of it. It has virtually all of your symptoms including the rare reaction to bright flashing lights which no one at males could could uh, come up with a reason for. So following the glucose tolerance test you started eating as if you were suffering from the sudden onset of low blood sugar which means eat more protein, eat more often, avoid large carbohydrate meals and avoid uh, high sugar and you did really well and then all of a sudden you had what appeared to be an episode again about two months later month and a half later whatever it was and you noticed because you could hear your heart rate in your ear you noticed that your heart rate was very low so we checked your heart rate and it was low it was 41 and we watched it for a few hours and it continued to stay low. So we called your cardiologist and they put you on a heart monitor for 24 hours and when they put it on you did really well for a while and you said to me, do you remember what you said? I'm not going to eat anything. You said you wanted to try something and that was to not eat dinner that night and not eat breakfast in the morning and you became ill and your heart rate fell down to 40 again. We called the cardiologist, you went in, they took the monitor off and he said, well, we put you on metatropol which will lower your heart rate. I guess so. Well, the reason I mention this is, is that it appears that the hypoglycemia is what you've been dealing with all these many years but then on top of it 
about two or three years ago, they put you on metatropol, which, when it lowers your heart rate, mimics the hypoglycemia. Now, we know that wasn't the problem to begin with because you've been suffering from these episodes for, well, now almost 20 years. How do you feel? How long have you, how long have you felt good? Five months. You haven't gone five months without an episode in my memory. Uh, I would say it's at least 10 years and probably longer. And, well, of course, you're still taking the CoQ10. We're not exactly certain what it's doing, but it had such a dramatic effect when you first started taking it that you're taking 200 milligrams a day. In fact, I'm taking 200 milligrams a day uh, because it uh, it does have some benefit for heart issues, which I have. But uh, it seems the only thing that we can put our fingers on for this is the fact that you're eating more protein and eating more often and avoiding uh, carbohydrate meals without protein and avoiding concentrated sugar and going five months is just phenomenal and I feel that you would have gone nine months eight or nine months if it had not been for the medicine that the cardiologist put you on it appears that we have found the difficulty uh, and I must add that it was without the help of any of the doctors and without the help of males, three days at males, and it was in spite of the roadblocks that the doctors put in front of us. Specifically, you were t tested for hypoglycemia 30 some maybe 40 years ago and the results were negative. Well, I can see why they were negative. The way the test is configured, it wouldn't show reactive hypoglycemia. You were tested again about 10 years ago and again the results were negative. And then this last test, although you reacted to the test exactly with the same symptoms and fatigue and weakness that you have with an episode, the doctors called and said that the results of the test were negative. So, in effect, the, the doctors and the medical community have delayed the, the finding that you've been suffering from a low blood sugar condition for many, many, many years and the cost to your insurance company and Medicare has probably been somewhere between a hundred and two hundred thousand dollars and the result is that by eating in a fashion that avoids reactive hypoglycemia again check Wikipedia that you are for the first time in many many years feeling good every day you feel good you oh, also you uh, describe how you feel now as far as uh, well what you were saying about how you feel every day as far as being relaxed I'm just very very relaxed nothing bothers me anymore whereas before you didn't feel that way. No. Big difference. Big difference. Uh, well, anyway, I'm coming up on 10 minutes with this thing. So she'll be glad to know that I'm going to end it. Uh, but anyway, you feel good. I feel great. I think we've got it. I hope we've got it. I pray we've got it. Thank you very much.